In this video, I will solve another example on step response in uh, RL circuits. Okay, as you can see in this problem, we have two switches, S1 and S2, and they're activated uh, in a different time. Okay, so in these kind of problems, uh, the important point is dividing time instances when uh, the switching changes. You, if you try to solve everything uh, simultaneously, it will be uh, quite wrong and uh, very complicated for you. Okay, so uh, what we should do is, uh, first of all, it's given that I0 is equal to zero, so we don't need to do anything for t is less than zero case, okay? So uh, this switch is activated when t is equal to zero, the second switch is activated when t is equal to four. So we need to analyze t in from zero to four first, and then we will go to case where t is in four to infinite. Okay, so when analyzing the first part, we will technically ignore the second part. We will assume that the circuit will go to infinity no matter what will happen later. But of course, at t is equal to 4, we will activate the switch and we will change the dynamics of the switch, which is an important thing. But it can't affect the behavior before t is equal to 4. Okay, let's do that. So, uh, since the initial condition is given and it's equal to 0, what we need to do is we need to use this formula. Okay, so i of t, uh, inductor current, is equal to i infinity. Uh, 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by tau, which is the time constant. Okay, so what is I infinity? Okay, so first of all, I infinity is steady state current of the inductor under this condition. Okay, it's not the actual in inf uh, current at the infinity. Okay, so this second switching for that reason can affect this I infinity. I infinity is I steady state. If we keep everything same, in the same uh, like equivalent resistance, same uh, input source, and same inductance level. Okay, so what is I infinity is equal to I steady state, and it is happening when uh, the inductor becomes a short circuit, which is like this. Okay, so this switch is not activated, so I can technically ignore this part. Okay, as you can see, this switch is activated, it's closed. So it's a single loop circuit. It is equal to 4C divided by equivalent resistance, which is equal to 10 ohm, which is 4 amps. Okay, as you can see, it's fairly easy uh, to compute that. Okay, so the second one is the uh, time constant tau is equal to L divided by R. L is equal to 5 Henry. Uh, R is equal to 10 ohm. It is equal to 1 over 2 seconds. Okay, let's check the result. As you can see, this is correct. Okay, so I of T is this. 4 amps, okay, times uh, 1 minus e to the power minus 2 t. Since tau is equal to 1 over 2, it technically 2 goes to the uh, next to t. Okay, but this is true from 0 to 4. Okay, we computed i infinity, which is 4 amps, uh, which is the steady state value of this inductor under the condition that first switch is closed, but second switch is open. Okay, but at t is equal to 4, we are changing to a new circuit. Okay. So in this kind of, uh, like, a multiple series activate different times, I generally recommend one type of technique, which is not mandatory. There are different kind of also techniques that you can apply this. Okay, so T is equal to 4, the timing of the activated uh, switch activation. So instead, I define a T hat, okay, T hat, which is equal to T minus 4. Okay, when T is equal to 4, T hat is equal to 0. So from the perspective of T hat, which is a different time, but on there's a shift, the second switch is activated at T is equal to zero, right? So we can do everything with respect to T hat using the same formulas and same conditions, such that, okay, uh, we can use this formula, okay, uh, which is a function of T hat. Okay, so what we need to do is, we need to compute a new steady state uh, current, new initial current, and new Tau. Okay, so let's start with the initial current. So I t hat equal to zero means that we need to compute I zero from this formula, not I zero, I four from this formula. Okay, that's good. So, okay, and it is equal to four times one minus e to the power minus eight t. Okay, so not eight t, it's eight. Of course, this is eight. So e to the power minus 8, if you compute it, you will see that it's approximately equal to 0. Okay, it's like 0, 0.00 something. So this is approximately equal to 4 amps. So I know that I t hat 0 is equal to 4 amps, which is the initial condition of this new circuit. Okay, that's good. So what I need to do is next is computing the 
equivalent resistance. Okay, let, let's do that. Uh, in order to compute the equivalent resistance, what should I do is, let's analyze the circuit. This is closed, this is closed. I need to compute equivalent resistance between the terminals of the inductor. Let's call it A and B. So this is short circuit and this is short circuit. Okay, as you can see, this is parallel with this and they are series with the 6 ohm resistance. So R equivalent is equal to 6 plus 4 times 2 divided by 4 plus 2. It's equal to 6 plus, okay, I think 4 divided by 3, okay. So this is 22, I guess, divided by 3. Okay, I think that's correct. Okay, so what is tau? Tau is equal to L divided by R. It is equal to 5 divided by 22 divided by 3. So it is equal to 15 divided by 22 seconds. So my tau is equal to 22 divided by 15 seconds. And I think it's approximately equal to 1.5. Okay, so you can... Right, the approximate equals 1.5 seconds. That's good. No, it's not. It says, okay, so, okay, no. Okay, I made a mistake. Tau is equal to, let's say, 15 divided by 22 seconds. Okay, one or tau is approximately uh, 1.5 seconds. Okay, it's good. So I computed the new initial condition. I computed the uh, time comes and why I need to compute is the steady state current of the inductor. Okay, let's clean everything now and try to figure out what we will do. Okay, so what I will do is I will do the same thing. Inductor is short circuit. That's good. Switch is activated, switch is activated, and we need to compute I on this, this condition. What we can do is we can technically uh, by mesh analysis or uh, node voltage. Let's use node voltage. Okay, this is P, let's call it VP. Okay, VP minus 40 divided by four, which is this current, plus VP minus 10 divided by two is this current, plus VP divided by six is this current is equal to zero. Okay, so VP times 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6 is equal to, so this is equal to 10 plus 5, it's equal to 50. Okay, that's good. So VP, let's write it here. VP is equal to 15 divided by 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6. Volts. Okay, but I need to uh, compute the current. So what is current? Vp divided by 6 ohm. Okay, so I need to have 1 over 6 is equal to I infinity. Okay, let's clean everything. So if I compute that, I infinity is equal to 15 divided by, okay, 3 over 2 plus 3 plus this is 1. Okay. I think it should be approximately equal to, if I remember, 2.722 amps. Okay, we will cut that. This is just uh, algebra. You will need to use your calculators uh, in the midterm anyway. So I infinity, I guess, it approximately equal to 2.722 amps. Okay, so let's check the results. Uh, okay, so before checking the results, what we need to do is we need to plug them into the equation. Okay. So I T hat, okay, I T hat is equal to 2.72 amps, okay, plus, what is that? 4 minus 2.72 amps times e to power minus T divided by tau, okay, so 1 over tau is approximately 1.5 seconds times T hat. Okay, so everything is correct, but in the original problem, we want the trajectory of current with respect to T, not T hat. What we need to do is I of T should be equal to 2.72 plus, uh, let's uh, ask 4 minus 2.72, e to power minus 1.5 T hat. Instead of T hat, we should write T minus 4. Okay, so this is critical. Okay, you can further simplify this, but if you don't plug them, your solution will be incomplete. It will be correct, of course, but it will be incomplete. So let's check, okay. So this is I of T from T is uh, equal to 
from 0 to 4 in this range. And uh, when t is greater than or equal to 4, we will have this formula. As you can see, uh, my uh, guess was right. So this is 2.73 plus 1.72 times e to the power minus 1.5 uh, multiply with t minus 4. OK, this is the whole spectrum or, or whole uh, range of values of the current from uh, starting from 0 to going to infinity.